Welcome back to my YouTube. I am here today with CJ, who is the well, who is Imaginarium Tarot on Instagram. And today he's gonna be doing my um, tarot cards for the year 2021. Yeah, so are you excited, CJ? Yes, I am. <laughs> it's the first time that he'll be doing a yearly reading. Um, CJ has been reading my cards now for about over a year. And before the lockdown, before I, we were both stuck in Chargao for many months, um, we had been reading my cards every, more or less every quarter, I'd say. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. And I, um, so I don't know how much you guys would believe in something like this, but I totally love having my cards read because it's so interesting to use as a guide in life, whether it's for love life, career, um, just any deeper emotional uh, problems you're going through. It's such a great guidance. And uh, CJ has a beautiful deck also, which he designed himself. Yes, I did. Yes, he illustrated everything. And you'll be able to see them as we do the card readings. Um, so in this video, <laughs> um, you guys will be getting to know me a bit more, I think, on a deeper level. And I'll include things in the final edit that um, might be more personal but then there are some things that we might cut out as well depending on how this goes yeah so we're just gonna get started um, CJ do you want to explain what an annual reading is or a yearly reading? yeah okay so essentially what the yearly reading is gonna be it's gonna use all 78 cards of the tower to explain what's been going on what can happen uh, first quarter second quarter third and fourth quarter so usually it's for you to get more awareness of what's going to be happening and for tarot is really not um, predicting the future but it's giving you like an overview of what could possibly happen at the end of the day it's still your decision it's still you who's going to make the choices okay. so this is just to help you empower yourself to be like all right i'm more aware that this is going to happen so let's take this chance here maybe let's figure out your plans for the next quarter and all that yeah so you're aware yeah so it's becoming more aware of the possibilities right? exactly. um, I also have a notebook with me so this is the first time I, I think I'm really taking notes yeah. during a reading um, and I think because it's a longer reading that's why I'll take notes Very and long readings. <laughs> yeah so with that said we can get started okay, okay. so this is gonna be your yearly reading Let's start. So I would want you to shuffle this as many times as you would like. Okay. However many times and in whichever way you want. Okay, got it. Oh, they are. They are. <laughs> Oops. Okay. To mention guys, we're actually in Lotus Shores, the yoga retreat place here in Chardao. Um, CJ I don't know if you're like the, the resident tarot reader in <laughs> of the island. Um, there are other tarot readers on the island. Yeah, he's yeah. he's the, he's my tarot reader. So in case you guys want to have your cards read, if you ever visit, um, you also do online. I do, today. I do, I do. Yeah. So um, if you guys are planning to go to Shardell, definitely come and check out Lotus. We're in their beautiful shala now. They were nice enough to let us uh, do the reading here. But you usually do your reading. Um, Pine there. Beach or here. Oh, and there. Okay. So anywhere. Depends where, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> this is our first time doing a reading here. Yeah. Usually we do it in Bayud. So, but I really like the ambiance here. It's quiet, peaceful. Yeah, and very jungle like. Alright, okay. Okay, so now please cut this into four cuts. Okay, and any random. As long as it's as even as possible. Okay. I feel like I'm. So 
we'll put these aside first. So we have the space to figure out <laughs> the first part. The first part. So this is the first part. Eight you want to start with passions, emotions, uh, issues, or career? Okay, um, I think for 2021, let's do career first. Okay. I feel like that's my favorite. So career first, we've oh, got wow. the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Now, the Five of Pentacles usually talks about like that sense of letting go. It's you're kind of losing a little bit of control. Okay. But the Knight of Pentacles is all about like, okay, I'm gonna I want to expand, I wanna move forward, I wanna go somewhere. Okay. But you're also trying to control so many things. Okay. So you're kind of gonna be a little bit conflicted with okay, I wanna do more, but also I wanna control a little bit more, figure out where I'm gonna take it. But also I don't want to. So there's a, a little bit of conflict. Yes. But good. the reminder for these two is yeah, just allow yourself to let go of control. Lose control for a bit. Because okay. when you are, like how I feel with the Five of Pentacles, it's if you're just waiting for it, if you're just gonna allow your loss of control, it'll just like fall into you. Please? Yeah. Okay. Instead of trying to like chase after things that are falling away from you, like... No, 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 no. Yeah. No. And grabbing onto and it. And grabbing onto it. Just let things fall where they Okay. Career-wise, but also... But this being the first quarter of the year, I feel like, um, and you know, still being in Shargao, I feel like I really, really, and you know this from my past readings, like I've really wanted to just like go into like showbiz already mm -hmm. and just like have my time for a year or two before moving on to the next chapter of my life. And at the same time, I'm enjoying so much in Shargao, so it's like I want to just let go and let like destiny or whatever take control of what should happen yeah okay. let's use the wave first okay. so feel a lot <laughs> there is a lot um, okay. first quarter is going to be a bit challenging oh okay <laughs> there's a lot of you're going to start feeling stuck so what i feel is these two the five and the ten of swords are usually about Feeling stuck, feeling overburdened, feeling like your problems are they keep piling up. Okay. Like from five and seven, ten, it doubles. Yeah. So maybe bring more awareness to that. Okay. I think this might also be related to letting go. letting go of things. But the six of swords reminds me that you know what are the things you do. You know what the things like you what are the things you need to let go. Okay. The thing is with the six of swords, that's also bad. I know, yeah. <laughs> if you like zoom into this card, I love that his cards have um, some sort of, not all of them, but a lot of them have a connection to Shargao. So this is the boardwalk of Cloud, Cloud Nine. Nine. So what yeah. the Six of Swords is, is actually all about transformation. It's transformation okay. into the next chapter of where you want to take it. Okay. So I feel like with the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords, these are all the issues that we might have been from this year, I'm uh, sorry, from uh, previous year, 2020, yeah. because you know, 2020 was a year. Yes. <laughs> it was. Or it was not a year. <laughs> it was. It was like a decade in yeah. itself. But all those problems might still have carried over. Mm. So maybe that's still kind of the remnants of it is still there, and you're trying to figure out how to slowly let go. Yes. Which is where the Nine of Swords comes. The Nine of Swords is that sense of you keep overthinking your problems. It, it keeps coming back and again and again and again. Mm. So these are things that might have still been from the past that are still there. How you can address that is, I feel like, the Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Okay. With the Knight of Swords, this one is more taking action. Like actually figuring out your game plan. So try not being too overwhelmed with your emotions. Try tackling them logically. Yeah. And Try not to just be overwhelmed too much with the issues that you have. Yeah, what keeps coming up. Um, uh, according to the card, is to just not overthink. Don't and overthink. Be take, logical. Yeah, take more action, like actually inspired action, committed to it. Okay. 
Commitment. Commitment. Okay, got it. Alright, which one do you want to focus on now? Um, I think emotion. I feel like because of the problems and everything, I feel like emotions would be a great segue. Yeah, because I think the problems I usually have come from my emotions. Well, the thing is, the Ace and the Three of Cups are really nice cards to have. For me, the Three of Cups is always about friendship. It's always about mm -hmm. connecting with people, connecting people on a deep level, actually. Yeah. It's getting into the flow. It's always, like, every time I see this, it's always just meeting new people, having drinks, and okay. just, like, enjoying people's company. So I feel like your connection with people will be stronger. You'll have, you'll be interacting with more people who will inspire you, who will basically fill your cup, fill your emotions, be like, oh, this is great. And okay. the now with the Ace of Cups, it's having that sense of yourself, you're overflowing with gratitude, joy, it's just a nice space to be in, to the point where you know that you are who you are, like, you're very confident in yourself, you're very confident with your emotions, mm -hmm. that it's just, nothing's gonna shake you so much. So I feel with the issues that are coming in, you are pretty much well equipped to okay. deal with that emotionally. So, okay. your passions and things that you want to happen, okay. your passions and desires. Oh my goodness! I like it. So you've got, you start off with the Ace of Wands. Now, the Aces are always about new beginnings. Okay. New passions. I feel like this is gonna be a new passion project. This is something uh, that you're trying to figure out. Oh, I want to make this happen. Which, you just said you kind of wanted to start more things. So yeah. you're like, okay, let's do that. New projects, new goals, very good time to start it. Okay, yay! Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, start of the year is always yeah. a very nice time. Um, the Seven of Wands though, it's gonna be a bit challenging. There might be conflicting outside forces. Other people might be saying other things about what you want to start. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's you who's gonna deal with it anyway. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure they have best, their best and your best interests in mind. but. It also might come to a point where the no's, like people keep saying no for certain things because of maybe their own personal experiences. Yeah. But if if you're gonna let that affect you, then that might shake things up. Yeah. But for me, what from here it goes to the eight points, which is all about alignment. Okay. So you already know. So the story is, yep, new idea, new thing that you want to do. Yeah, there are people who are maybe not so sold, but you know that you are, that I want to make this happen. Eight of Wands says, yep, you are in alignment, that works. It's actually all about progress, moving forward okay. in a really quick, like, quick way. Yeah, so that's why I have to take action. Yeah. Okay. Also in relation to that. Yeah. Uh, the Eight of Wands, it is all about your alignment. So, this, these three seem very good. You, you're sure of yourself. Okay. And then you have the King of Wands, which is all about, this is your vision. It's the visionary, uh, you know what you want to happen, which is why the Ace of Wands is also here. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Yeah, I think I saw both of them. Yeah, I think it's bad enough to watch it. Okay. Next would be the major plot points. Okay, so interestingly, first quarter for you seems interesting. Yeah, I know. I'm like, <laughs> it seems a bit. Am I gonna have a, a baby? Lot. <laughs> okay, what? so with the Empress, it's all about nurturing. Maybe, maybe is referring to your passion project. Okay. <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> but the Empress is all about really just connecting to your divine femininity, the love, the nurturing aspect, okay. and translating that into projects that you might be tackling in the soup that you talked about earlier. Okay. Might be just powering it up even more. You just feel more confident, more uh, okay. Yeah, and okay. just hold, essentially. Okay, got it. Now, moving on to the elders. This one is all about tradition. It's all about trying to figure out what makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I think during this time... Oh, uh, for some reason, I'm coming back to the first, the suit of Pentacles. 
which for me might be related to this. So maybe with regard to your career, it's all about trying to figure out a certain process mm -hmm. on how, what's comfortable for you, what makes sense for all these other other parts. Okay. Like what what is it that you find that balance? Rather. So yeah. The elders like. Um, that the traditions is what will help you maintain that pattern? Yeah. It's also okay. you trying to figure out what works for you. Okay. Like, if, you know how, there's a saying where it's like, uh, you have to know the rules before you bend the rules. Yeah. Or something like yeah. that. That's kind of where what I'm seeing. And then, moving on to the lovers. This is always about energy. For me, this is all about what energy you're giving out to the world. And if you are inspired, if you are just all around loving, mm -hmm. that's the same energy that you'll be getting. Okay. It also feels a lot like you're in harmony and in balance okay. with everything that's happening. Despite yeah. the swords, despite the swords and the issues that you're coming from there, but you are in harmony. With regard to emotion, you are well balanced. So it's like, okay, that's the counter acts the issues that I'm here. Yeah, so no matter the problems, I'll be like, you'll be fine. I'll be fine, okay. But speaking of problems, okay, <laughs> you've got know. the shadow. And the shadow is all about feeling like you're stuck. It's feeling like your problems are overwhelming. Ooh, and it's I, scary. It's that originally there's actually the, the devil card. Yeah. But I changed it to the shadow because the, the devil is all about, like, a lot of people have really bad misconceptions about it. Yeah. But the shadow, it's more of you facing your problems, your inner demons, your inner struggles. Yeah. And I think that's where this hits. Okay. And that's also where this is. The swords. The swords. What we talked about earlier. This is cute though. That's like a I nod like to that. my high school emo days. I know. I was like, I kind of like that. It's my emo days. Yeah. I can see the, I can see that. <laughs> but essentially, these two, I think, are what the shadows referring to. Okay. The issues that you have from the past, you have to confront it. It's time to confront it. Okay. But the good thing about it is that you've got the world. Oh, and for me, this is always a trans transformation situation. Like, from can, this dark... Yeah, I was gonna say, from the dragon to, like, the dark dragon to this, like... Winged, really serpent, beautiful, fabulous. Yeah, yeah it, it, it almost seemed like when I saw this, like, this, this um, serpent would defeat the dragon. Mm -hmm. But for me, yeah, that that could be an interpretation. But for me, I'm always seeing that this is, you know, how the, the story of the dragon, with the thorn, yeah, or is it the lion, something, yeah, like thorn. The, the lion, like, yeah, the lion, and so angry, yeah. Like when you remove it, you're like, oh, so fine. yeah, it's, got it. It's kind of like that. Once you get rid of your shadow, once you get rid of your issues, you become like this person, a more leveled up person. Okay. And what's kind of cool is that. Looking at these, there is the Empress, and I feel like the world is also here. She's also there. And for me, that's always about taking care of yourself. So, addressing your issues, addressing the things that have that need to be, you're gonna feel a little bit more secure, more broke, and more. There's a lot, a lot happening. Okay, got it. So, it's, it's like connecting these cards. Yeah. Got it. Oh my gosh, okay, love it. So this is like the overlook of my first, first spoiler. Yes. Got it. Yeah, yeah. This is a lot. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot. So we're done with the first one.